Uh, when y'all look at tape on South Carolina, it's kind of weird to be asking you about somebody this time of year that you hadn't played yet. Yeah. But uh, first time playing them, what jumps out about them on tape? Um, they're just like a really aggressive team. They play like a really, really tough, like brand of basketball. Um, they shoot. They don't shoot too many threes, but they make the threes. They shoot so they, they take good shots and make good shots. So they're a pretty efficient team on offense and defense as well. So and they got some veteran guys that have been around for a while. So they got a lot of experience as well. So we gotta be able to look out for that as well. How big of a game is this for you, just being a South Carolina? Man? It's really a big game for me because it's my first time actually playing like back home in Columbia. So I'm gonna have a lot of family and friends there. So it's gonna be a big game for me to go out there and try to try to do something good for him. So. Did you grow up a Gamecocks fan at all? Uh, not, not really. Like maybe more so football. Like I, I like the football team growing up because like when you're from Carolina, you see the Carolina or Clemson. So I grew up more so on the Carolina side of football things. You you were hot at first the last game. Just how big is that for the team for you to kind of like get hot and kind of establish something on offense? I think it's just for all of us to try to go out there and be aggressive is the best thing for the team. You know, we got to go out there and get off to faster starts because sometimes we kind of go out there and maybe take us a while to get into the thing and get into things. So I tried to go out there last game and kind of set the tone from the jump. How much has that been a, a, a focus, especially the last few weeks? Avery's kind of talked about you know, because of the slow starts, we need to maybe change some things up, whether yeah. it's a practice, the pregame meal, whatever. <laughs> uh, what kind of things have been different the last few weeks that maybe allowed maybe uh, faster starts? Um, probably just, I think, we got more like maybe more rest. I think practice is, uh, the practice time has kind of decreased as, as, as the season's going on. We don't practice like as long anymore. And I think that kind of has an effect on our bodies and our energy to start the game sometimes. So I think uh, now, so we just kind of like, kind of just go out there and just be aggressive from the jump. And we have like a lot more energy to go out there and do it and do so. So. And we also talked about, I guess, this next practice, which I guess will be today. Yeah. Um, you know, it's going to be one of the harder ones of the of the year, just because of what South Carolina provides yeah, and play, stuff. Yeah. So, what are you anticipating? And, and uh, obviously, uh, only eight players saw the court last. You know, what was kind of the reaction to that? I really didn't even notice that until after the game. For real, I'll check the like stat sheet and stuff. But uh, I think today in practice, we're going to probably just be prepared to probably get fouled a lot. Um, just be be being really aggressive from the scout team and just kind of just being being able to play tough and play th play through the contact because we might because we might not get those calls on the road at South Carolina. So we gotta be ready for that. As far as the eight players, Avery made the point like. You know, we want guys that can play together well and, and win. Yeah. I mean, where it doesn't matter how many it is, if they can play together well and win. Is that kind of a challenge at some point to some of these players that, hey, you know, uh, everybody needs to step up. It's not just, you know, one or two guys. Um, yeah, I think everybody right now is the time for everybody to step their games up at this point in the season because it's like our last final stretch. So we got to finish out strong for sure. So I think right now, like everybody just got to step up to the A game and, and, and take it to, take it to another level because we all got different levels we can tap into. So we got to just take it there now. It's, it's time for that now. Well, you had like 32 minutes, right? Was that a season high for you? No, last game, no, I actually played 18 last game, but oh, 18, okay. a couple guys played like over 30 last game, 37, something like that. So I, it I definitely guess increased for some guys. That balance, you know, what, what's that? Was that kind of. Uh, and even and you, obviously, kind of you hit early and you kind of struggled to kind of find that stroke later. Yeah. So how much is that kind of even on you to, to pick up, up your personal uh, side of it? I mean, yeah, like I said, everybody got to step up, step up their roles at this point in the season. So I think for me, it's just, this is important to anybody to step, to step their games up right now. So, okay. yeah. Is it, uh, I heard talked about when you're aggressive, the, the offense works better. Is that something you're trying to, you know, get to the hoop more? I mean, that's not just getting to the hoop. That's just everything. That's defense, too. That's just like on both sides of the ball, just being – being a competitor, like, you know, competing. So I think it's definitely a thing that I bring to the table and I got to keep continue to bring that because it's gonna, on a consistent basis, night in, night out, so. Any other questions? Appreciate that, thank you. Yep. Avery kind of talked about this last game, South Carolina brings a different kind of feel, a different energy, especially at home. Uh, what was the practice <clears> like, <throat> you know, first day after this last game? I mean, we, we came in and watched film on the last game and we watched film on South Carolina, so we kind of know how they play, you know, they beat, I think they beat Florida. And so, you know, it happened at home. But I feel like <clears throat> we're, we're prepared to go down and put up a fight. What impresses you about them on tape? Uh, the way they play defense, the way they compete, and they push the ball in transition very well. And they have a lot of, a lot of good players and versatile players. So we, we'll be ready to play. What's going to be the key to kind of building off this and not allowing, I mean, you've had several kind of you know, emotionally charged wins and gotten over the hump. And then, you know, you have a situation like the last previous three games. Mm -hmm. So how do you kind of go the other way? You just got to show up and be ready to work every day, you know, putting our hard heads on every day, not taking any day for granted and just selling out every day. 
Has there been anything different? I know Avery said, you know, everything's on the table. We may even change how the way we eat the meal before the game or whatever like that. Has, how much has changed in the last few weeks as far as maybe even warm-ups or, or any of that kind of stuff? What has Avery done differently? We just we just try to get going quicker. I know uh, early in the year we had slow starts. And like in practice now, we just try to get going a lot quicker to, to come out in games and get going. How big is Tevin to like jump starting this offense and kind of getting you guys clicking? He's huge, and I mean before games, you know, we we get in a little huddle before they go out to uh, to the jump ball, and I kind of tell everyone that I mean if, if y'all can't if y'all not going, the team not going, and so especially with uh, Tevin Mack, when when he's aggressive, we we're good. Time for one more question. Coach talked about um, John Petty's development after the last game. From your perspective, how have you seen him change in the offseason this season so far? I think towards the, the end of the season last year, he kind of bought in to the defensive schemes. And this year, I mean, you can, like the last game, he was the loudest one out there. So I feel like he, he's grown a lot defensively and he's gotten more better on the offensive end. Any other questions? Thanks.